Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to install Homebrew on a Mac. If you don't know what Homebrew is, it's a package manager. So basically, things that may not have a, a Mac built package uh, application installed for them, you can usually get through Homebrew. Uh, uh, some other things. Anything that's available for Linux pretty much will transfer to a Mac via Homebrew. So if you ever used uh, Linux and you used the package manager on Linux, like a Debian based package manager, which would be you know, app-get install whatever it is. So say app-get install nginx or which is a web server or anything like that. Um, those packages, you can get that function out on your Macs and you can have the best of both worlds. You can have supported applications from companies like Adobe and uh, other, other uh, companies that don't want to run on Linux and you can also have all the Linux tools available. So really it is, it's a great little tool to put on your Mac so you can get those options. Let's go to the computer. Okay guys, here we are on the Mac. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is open a browser. Uh, I'm just gonna open Chrome and I'm gonna go to brew.sh and that'll take you to the homebrew webpage. And right here at the top, you're gonna wanna highlight this command Command C to copy. Then I'm going to open my spotlight. I'm going to type terminal. And I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it. And then I'm going to paste that command in. You're going to hit enter. Now, what this is going to do, this is going to go out and uh, get the content you need to install Brew. So I'm going to hit return to continue. Um, I already have mine installed, so. It's probably going to do a couple weird things here, but what it's going to do is ask you, uh, do, are you sure you want to do this? Hit enter. Or it's going to take up this much space, hit enter. Just pretty much accept the defaults on that and you'll be fine. Uh, I, I didn't change anything on mine. Um, so now that you have it installed, um, you can actually um, go out and find packages uh, to install, like Linux type packages. Let's go to. Uh, go to look at the, the list. Um, here we go, homebrew packages. You scroll down, click that, and I'm going to browse them all. And then I'm going to do a trick I like to do on web pages, type control F to find, and I'm going to look for a network package. And I need to spell it right. <laughs> so let's just look, oh, there's 106 of them on here. Wow, that's a lot of network package. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go to Swiss Army Knife for network attacks and monitoring better cap. I really want it for the monitoring because I don't want to do any harm to anybody. So what we can do is brew install better cap. And it will do the same thing it did when you installed brew. It's going to go out, it's going to look for the better cap package, find its dependencies, and install it right there on your computer. So now you can use BetterCap to monitor your network. That's just one package. There are thousands of them out there. Go take a look and see which one you would like. But it gives you the best of both worlds between Linux and Mac. So you can get all your Linux utilities and all your Mac utilities, uh, Photoshop, Lightroom, iMovie, all that stuff that you know is not available for Linux. Now you have it on your Mac. Um, I think it's awesome. I mean, it, you know, that's it's really easy to do. Um, it's going to give you a whole new world to explore if you haven't done this before. So that's all there is to it. It's pretty easy. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you had any problems doing it. Um, and uh, that's all there is. Thanks for watching. Hey, one more thing, guys. Um, real quick, if you could, um, I don't ask people to support me. I don't ask for money. I do this all for free because I love this stuff. But if you could and you want to support me, check the links below in the description. Buy my Kindle book. It's I think it's $3. So not a lot of money. Helps me uh, keep things going. Um, check it out. It's about photography. You, you may like it. Uh, it's actually about taking uh, your own senior pictures, but there's a lot of good overall photography information if you want to take portraits of your family. Uh, I think there's pretty good information in there. Let me know what you think. Uh, Click the link down below, you can buy it, and uh, help support the channel. Alright, thank you.